Solutions to the double spring problem. Part A, in part A we want the spring constant. Now we can get that from this graph right here, 20 over 0.1. From the Hooke's Law equation, spring constant K equals opposite of F, opposite of force. Now the force is to the left, which is why uh, this is negative, negative 20 newtons. Forces to the left compared to x, so this is negative, making it positive 200 newtons per meter. Answer to A, spring constant for the inner spring, 200 newtons per meter. B, we want the decrease in kinetic energy, and we're going to get that from the work. The work done by that spring from A to B. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. I'll actually show you the longer version. We have 1 half kx initial squared minus 1 half kx final squared. This is the work done by a spring. The force is not constant, so you can't use F d cosine phi. The force by spring is variable. We derive this formula from the integral of the force kx integrated from initial to final. And this is the one that looks weird because you have initial first minus final second and that's really the only quantity I think we see like that most other quantities are final minus initial x initial is zero because that spring is not uh, stretched or compressed at all initially and x final 0.1 meter that's given by the graph and end up with negative one joule as the work done by the spring so that's also the change in kinetic so it loses one joule AP board did not care if you left it as negative one joule or you said it lost one joule alternatively you could have got the work done by the area under the curve here it is also one joule you can check me on that now you do have to this only gives you the absolute value so you do have to realize that it's opposite the displacement and it's going to end up being negative one joule. Part C, we want the decrease of energy from B to C. I took spring two first. Spring two is the uh, new spring right here. Now it's not stretched at all and that's important because you have to look at that spring as going from zero whoa to 0 0.05 meters, not 0.1 to 0.15 meters. If you put 0.1 to 0.15 meters, the reason that's incorrect is because it is not compressed at all right now. You're thinking of the other spring. Common mistake. So the work done by the second spring is 1 half kx initial squared minus 1 half kx final squared. You do have to find the new spring constant and you can do that from the graph and that is the slope of this line right here 40 over 0 0.05 40 over 0 0.05 is 800 newtons per meter and that is a K and again this is 0 not 0 0.1 so this goes to 0 and this is 1 over here so the work done by the larger spring the second spring is negative 1 joule but there's more. You also have to take into account the work done by the first spring. And the first spring you do go from 0.1 to 0.15 because it is already compressed 0.1. From point B to point C, that spring is already compressed. So you're using the same formula to get the work done by this spring, 1 half kx squared minus one half kx squared, first one's initial, second one's final. This ends up being one joule minus 2.25 joules, which is negative 1.25 joules. So that is from the spring one. That's this spring right here, the skinny one. And in order to get the total change in kinetic energy, it's the work done by both springs negative 2.25 joules so that would be the change in kinetic energy and you could leave it as negative 2.25 joules or you could say it lost 2.25 joules 
by the way same thing applies here and you can check me on that the area under the curve here is equal to the work which is equal to the change in kinetic and again these are absolute value forces so that would be uh, a negative work because it's opposite the displacement much quicker way to do that if you realize that part D we want to calculate the initial speed of the object and we're going to do that with the work kinetic energy relationship the work done by the springs is equal to the change in kinetic that was 3.25 joules that's the sum of your answers to B and C we have then change in kinetic is equal to kinetic final minus kinetic initial uh, this should be negative 3.25 here so negative 3.25 equals kinetic final which is zero it came to a stop given minus one half mv initial squared we know the mass so the only unknown we have is v naught or v initial so v initial is 1.14 meters per second and that wraps up problem number one